What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I often get asked how I carry my cameras with me on my bicycles and how I photograph from my bike. So I thought I'd make a video explaining that. Um, to me, you know, almost any camera bag you could put bike stuff in and almost any bike bag you could put camera stuff in. I tend to mix and match both often in the same bag. I just got a new bag and it's a camera bag and it was with the idea of bringing my cameras with me on my bike. So I figured I'd put together this video going through all my different setups, starting with the most minimal, which would be just having my GoPro on me, and then up through my film cameras, which are different sizes, and then into my you know full DSLR with multiple lenses and flashes if I'm going to shoot a full professional event, if this well, were a normal year. So starting with my GoPro, I actually usually keep that on me. Ever since I've been using the grill mount, the GoPro is pretty much always just hooked in my front pocket, easily accessible, but in the winter, I find that I do need to put it in a bag just because the batteries will die so fast if it's out in the wind. It's also advisable to keep a second battery in a warm pocket when carrying any camera in the winter. Next up is my chrome bag. This is a hip bag, though I tend to use it more as a sling bag over my shoulder. This is perfect for a film rangefinder, and I'd used it all the time in the spring and the summer to bring my Canonet with me when I was shooting a ton of film on that camera. I did use it on our New York trip to keep my Canon 6D with its pancake lens in there, but that was a very tight squeeze and I found that getting the camera in and out while I was riding was a little more difficult because I was really maxing out the width of the bag. So it wouldn't be advisable for that, but I think you know, if you're a modern Fuji shooter or maybe even the digital Sonys, I think this could be an option for you. But that's what led me to getting the bag that I mentioned I just picked up, which is the Peak Design 3 liter bag. I absolutely love this bag. It's a sling bag and it is so adjustable so that you can tighten it close to your back so it doesn't come swinging around on you. But then when you need to access your gear, it has this quick release slide so you could swing the bag around front and get your camera out. It's easily configurable, which I love too. So I have it, I've already ridden with it set up where I have my digital camera and a film camera in there, but then I could also set it up just to have my film or my digital camera with a bigger lens and or just one camera and some of the bike gear. The front pocket is a little small. It's good for phone, wallet and keys maybe, but not much beyond that, especially if you have the interior space maxed out. On the inside, I love that it has a couple little secret, secret hidden pockets for your extra memory cards or batteries, as I had mentioned, stuff like that. I was motivated to get this bag because I actually had the Peak Designs bigger bag, the 10 liter or the 10L, I assume that stands for liter. And I really love this bag. Same thing because the adjustability of the strap. But this one was my everyday event bag for a long time because I could put my DSLR with a lens on it, usually my 35, bring another lens for an event, say an 85, and then fit my flash in there. And then the front pocket on this one is actually expandable. It's also good for riding because I found I could get my camera that I need and then also all my bike gear if I didn't want to have a bag on the bike that would and when I say bike gear I mean the tools that are a necessity for me so I could get by with pretty much just that bag I've used that on a couple trips and it's been awesome this is a little um, bag for a single lens but again you could put anything in there and it's great because it just v double velcro so it locks really well to any strap so I'll use this say if I wanted to bring say an extra lens that fits in this bag it opens up a spot in one of the other bags but again if you just need a little more space you could put anything in there bike tools whatever you may need these next bags are a couple kind of what I would call legacy bags for me this Domkey uh, messenger bag is one that I've taken with me everywhere. It's been to Europe, it's been to almost every event I shot for years, and it's finally just wearing out. It has about the same capacity as that Peak Design bag, um, but a little tighter fit, I guess. But I'd, I will again fit my camera with a lens, an extra lens, and a flash perfectly, a couple pockets for batteries. The problem for me with messenger style bags is when you stand up and pedal, they tend to swing around the front. So it's a bag that I always liked better for you know, hiking or actually just working, but on the bike, it's not as good. And I've just totally worn it out, but I would definitely recommend Domkey. They were designed by a photographer who is a photojournalist. They're made with toughness in mind. And this one only looks so rough because 
it's just seen everything. This low pro bag is a holster style bag and it's great for easily accessing your cameras. I kind of stopped using it as my cameras got bigger and I needed to carry more stuff. I did use it a couple years ago in a new, unique way for a while though when I was shooting some events for my bike for the Ohio and Erie Canal Way. I actually rigged it to my handlebars with some of this extra strapping and it made for such a perfect way to access my camera and just to flash and pull the camera out and be able to shoot with. Then this bag is my National Geographic backpack. This is a bag that I use if I'm pretty much just riding to work somewhere because it's very hard to get the cameras out. You can't get the camera out of the bag while you're wearing it. So you have to lean your bike up somewhere, open up the back, you know, get your camera out, put your backpack back on. But, you know, if I need more gear with me or I'm going to shoot a job, you know, I need more lenses or say I'm going to bring my camera, lenses and my drone or I, you know, my mountain bike doesn't really have a great way to carry stuff on it. So this could be bike tools and still a minimal camera set and drone set up for me. But, you know, for me, having to wear a backpack is always a last resort. I prefer to keep a smaller bag or a lot of the weight on the bike if I can. But sometimes it's a necessity and it's also a really good travel bag. Bike bag, I do use it. I've been using it this winter, um, like I said, especially with my mountain bike, but it is kind of my last resort for um, bike riding photography. So the bags that I use on my bike, one that I put my camera in very often is this Frost River frame bag. This will fit, uh, again, more of a narrow setup. My 6D with its pancake lens, this is what I pretty much use on any little bike trip, day trip, maybe even an overnight trip. So yeah, it would definitely fit my new camera, my Canon EOS R5 with like its 50 millimeter lens. But again, it's kind of got the same narrow, narrowness restrictions of the chrome bag that I use as a sling bag. You can't put anything too wide in there. I mean, and if you did, it would start to bump on your legs even if you forced it in there. So it's not something you'd want to do. Um, the problem with this bag is they only put one zipper. I think all frame bags should have two zippers so you could decide where you want your stuff in the front or the back. They also should have put a third strap on it because if you just have a few things in here, it'll hang really low and then kind of widen out in the side. So it's a bag that's better to be fully packed. I love it for bike packing. I love it for bike touring, but I think this model could use some improvement. But again, it's held up really well. I've used this for years and it has no problems. And the handlebar bag I have on here too is also a Frost River. And again, this one, I've had it even longer and it's held up really well. I can put cameras in here and I just did um, on one of my ride bike shoot film videos. I had my Minolta in there. Um, which is a typical film SLR 35 millimeter camera. Fits fine. Again, not the easiest way to get a camera in and out of a bag, but if I'm gonna be, for those kind of rides where I'm riding up somewhere and I'm usually keeping my, you know, standing over the top tube, pulling the camera out and taking some shots, it works really well for that. Um, I put my 6D in there, but again, it's, it's really getting, um, it's really getting limited on width when I do something like that. So not what I particularly like to do, but, you know, handlebar bags now, there's those big square ones, there's the front rack ones. I think that would be a great way to carry a camera. And so if you have a more modern um, gravel bike or bike packing bike, I bet you have an option. That's probably the best place to put your camera if you don't mind having it bounce around a little bit. When I'm bringing my really expensive cameras, I'm not gonna have those really in a bike bag. Um, I would rather have those on my person where they're going to get a lot more cushioning from my body and the bag and the strap. If it's a film camera that's important to me, I would say I don't want it bouncing around in this kind of way. Something to think about. I think the handlebar bag and the frame bag, it doesn't take too much abuse, but you know, you have to decide what your comfort level is and how hardy your gear is. And then lastly is my Toe Peak um, rack bag. This is the one that folds down into panniers. If you watched any of my bike touring videos, it's pretty much always what I have on. It goes on my Trek 500. I have a rack for it on that. And then I also have a rack on my Riviera. And when I use this bag, what I do is I put one of these um, yoga pads in here. These, this is a material sorbethane that's actually used to cushion the International Space Station and all kinds of stuff like that, industrial uses. So when I add my 6D on all the tours, I will set it in the back of the bag on top of that. And then it's perfect. I could still reach back and get it out. I've also used this when I've been photographing stuff like the Towpath Century Ride or the Towpath 50. So this is a really good way for a camera, you know, that I don't mind riding in there. I have put my 5D in here too before. Like I said, I've more grown to not want my bags back there kind of bouncing, or my cameras back there bouncing around. But you know, any rack bag is obviously gonna have room for a camera. You just need to make sure the zipper situation is one that 
you know, you could open, you know, behind your back and access your camera if you're going to want to be actually shooting while you're riding. So as you can see, this is an extremely extensive topic for me because I have so much different kinds of camera gear and then so many different kinds of goals on what I'm trying to shoot. I always recommend buying stuff from your local camera shop or your local bike shop if you can. Um, if you are curious about a specific one of these models and you do need a link, go ahead and leave me a comment about that and I'm happy to show exactly what the name of the model is and where it could be found. So yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. I would be interested in how anyone else out there who might like to ride a lot and photograph a lot, like what kind of camera you use and how you tend to bring it with you so it's quickly accessible if that's what you're trying to do. Anyways, I will see you in the next video.